basically to identify any issues with that project. We tell them what the issues are, we don't tell them how to fix it, and the bank can then basically re review their risk assessment of that project and see whether the project is still worth funding based on the advice we give them. Basically what the financial institutes are looking for is certainty and assurance on whatever projects they're funding. So they're looking for the QS to say where's the gaps, where's the risk within this project. So the reason why we've developed the construction finance guidance notes is from industry feedback from the financial institutions when we've done our round robin uh, feedback sessions we were basically told that the institutions were unhappy with the consistency of reports being produced by our members. So basically the, the industry said to the institute you need to fix this so that's why we've produced this document so it now produces a standard of what our members should be doing every time they issue a report and it also gives the financial institutions some leverage to go back to the members if they basically produce a substandard report saying, hang on a sec guys, your governing body is telling you you should be doing it like this, why, why haven't you picked this up? The piece of advice I would give to anybody is walk them through the process.